So there was a Monster Hunter trailer that wasn't even at Gamescom, as I was explaining earlier. I watched that one and I was like, that was an okay trailer. They showed some stuff. They showed some stuff of uh, the, new, the new final boss. Um, and then suddenly this popped up and there's a bunch of new shit in it. Like, I don't know why the hell, why the hell this wasn't available elsewhere. But, um, it, or during the actual event, but it wasn't. I am going to watch this. I'm gonna hope that there's some new shit in it. I'm pretty sure there is. I saw some weird abyss looking monster on Twitter, and I'm assuming that this is the trailer that this is actually coming from. So, without any further delay, I really wanna play Iceborne really bad. And that's gonna be happening really soon. I'm gonna lose my damn life to this game, and I'll try not to as much as possible. This old Everworm, from what we know, has the power to obliterate ecosystems from their very foundation. <clears throat> we must stop it no matter the cost. <gasps> must kill it, take its skin, and show our friends. Ooh, does that look like Elder's Recess, but covered in snow? That's kind of cool. You've seen it? It was long before the first fleet was dispatched. There was an explorer searching for the new world. <laughs> I hoped our paths would cross again. Hell a story trailer. What is songs? The ecosystem. Old Everworm. Is this about Falcana? My sweet parchment. We need the Dragon Razor ready now. Damn, am I, am I watching the entire story for this game right here? Ooh, ooh, that gear looks sick. Okay. All right, all the new dudes. I'm gonna sharpen your shit. Wait a minute, what the hell? This is a new monster. I thought this was the guy with like the crazy acid blade on his ass. And he's totally not. He's weird punchy McPunch hands. This is the, what the? There is suddenly Brocadios. Man, there's, there's a shit ton of new monsters in this game. Stuff that I don't know because it's from Monster Hunter games of yore that I'm gonna become familiar with. A lot of Valkana time. We've discovered unnatural fault lines all over this place. This all points to frequent seismic action throughout the area. Yeah, Barrios? Is that the weird tiger guy? The old devil. Everworm is much better than Master! the giant mountain. Oh this god, Master's gonna die. Assignment. But your master left you something to find. If you don't chase that truth, then it will be lost forever. Come with us. This character's Hunters cool. fight hard and stay smart. Let's fight hard and get dumb. That was a that was a story ass story trailer. Story ass story trailer. What the What the fuck was that? Uh there's a bunch of extra shit over here. Yes. Okay. All the extra stuff you get for this one. The Dark Souls set. Um, what the hell? Ooh! Boost your way to Master Rank with the Guardian Armor set? What the fuck? This stuff looks neat. I like it. I like it. I think that looks really damn cool. 
Um, is that like a new elder dragon? It looks like, then that's the weird abyss thing. It looks like one of the creatures at the, at the, at the end of the abyss, like that James Cameron movie. Um, like it lives at the very, very, very darkest depths of the oceans and is all bioluminescent and shit. Is there any more on that, that kind of stuff? It's in the dev diary. Oh, explain in the dev diary. As everyone has just seen, our latest trailer features several story scenes from Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And we'd like to take the time to break down some of the things that appeared in the video. Firstly, we'd like to tell everyone about the general story. Well, tell everyone as much as we can at this time. As much as we can. Got it. This is the second story trailer for Monster Hunter World Iceborne, so we wanted to delve deeper into the narrative of the game. The last trailer featured the handler, but this one highlights the tracker and depicts the character's involvement with Velkana. We think the trailer gives people a taste of some intriguing material. In comparison with World, there are many cutscenes in Iceborne that include yourself as well as various non-playable characters. That's right. In Monster Hunter World, we put a great emphasis on explaining the world view of the game. We tried to answer questions such as, why is there a new world? What do people from the Research Commission do? We went to great lengths to include that information. But now that we've essentially explained all that... The fuck is going on back there? ...backstory to each character. We want but is the goddamn Dragonator ready? Upon their That's what I need to know. Arcs. This time we made a point of fleshing out the story with the growth of characters such as the Handler, the Tracker, and the Field Team Leader. This is one of the most notable aspects of Iceborne. I see. Moving along, I think it's time we talk about the monsters that appeared in the trailer. First of all, a fan favorite, Bracadios. It made its first appearance in Monster so, Hunter 3 Ultimate when it was featured as the flagship monster of the game. Really? Bracadios is a monster with hard blue shelling, but do you see the glowing green parts at the tip of its legs and on its head? That's actually slime. What the this fuck? Slime's special characteristic is that when it sticks to a surface, it undergoes a chemical reaction and then it explodes. Brachydeos has a symbiotic relationship with this slime. Brachydeos has the same design as it did before, but we've added a few new moves. Depending on the move, what a weird monster. the slime explodes at different time intervals. These new attributes can pose a challenge oh, even for those players who think they've mastered the Brachydeos fight in the past. So I think all players are going to have a real good time fighting this monster. And it seems that sometimes your feet can get stuck. Oh god. That's right. I see, so it's kind of a unique version well. of like blast. This time around you'll need to be extra careful of your positioning when engaging Brachdeus, because it's very much designed for Monster Hunter World. The next monster is Barriath. Barriath is a monster. This guy looks so similar to Tigrex, so I thought it was Tigrex for a sec. Light flying wyvern that can move quickly, even on ice. It's one of the more distinctive monsters. It uses its spikes as hooks to propel itself across the ice. It's a monster that has complete freedom in its movements. For its moves, we have reimagined this monster's unique tempo, which means that its speed fluctuates between stillness and quick movement. And as a part of Monster Same Hunter skulls World, different skin. Barriath can make use of the environment to its advantage. For example, there's a move where it can utilize walls when attacking. At first, taking down Barriath may seem like a daunting task, but if you strategize and aim to break its body parts, it becomes a much more manageable hunt. As you know, in the last trailer for Iceborne, we introduced Glavinus to everyone. And this time, we're excited to announce a Glavinus subspecies, Acidic Glavinus. And we'd like to share some details about So I'm pretty sure this, this is what was announced at Comic-Con. This is the debut of this subspecies. It was Acidic Glavinus. As you know, one of the most distinguishable features of Glavinus is its tail. Acidic Glavinus is a subspecies of Glavinus that demonstrates its adaptation to the harsh environment of the Rotten Vale. While the regular species of Glavinus is a monster that was created with a greatsword in mind, Acidic Glavinus is a brute wyvern that was created with the image of a longsword. Its tail is embedded with highly corrosive crystals. Its tail cuts a large swath that will cause a hunter's defense to decrease if they're hit with the tail's caustic properties. Oh shit. While you're busy Bring no berries. Bring the monster then sharpens its tail into a katana-like form. 
And this time, God, that looks so cool. Quickly and with precision. At this point, if your defense is weakened, this monster is going to deliver some nasty damage. So while you try your best to avoid the defensive debuff, you'll have to play smart and consider your positioning while its tail is sharpened. It's going to be a fun fight that'll have you thinking on your feet. When the tail's sharpened, this monster's in its most powerful state. The aspect of trying to figure out how to outlast Jesus. this state is part of the monster's design that differs from the regular species. Today, we formally introduced acidic glavinus to everyone and made some of its details public. But there are other subspecies that will appear in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. So yeah, we've seen this some. More to come. I saw the uh, the black Next bat up, looking we'd like guy. To take this opportunity to discuss the scene that appears at the very end of the trailer. We think everyone is eager to know what's going on here. This monster is brand new and is making its debut in Monster Hunter World thing? Iceborne. The name of the monster is Namio. We can't go into too much detail. What the fuck, dude? This thing looks insane. Touch upon this monster. Namiel's an elder dragon that can manipulate water. We wanted to expand on the elder dragon theme that was prevalent in Monster Hunter World. As an example, Velkana's an ice-themed elder dragon. It was one of our goals to create elder dragons with various characteristics. This time, we wanted to challenge ourselves to depict a water-themed elder dragon. I think we designed a monster that's going to be really fun to fight, and we hope people are eager to face it. This looks amazing. In the trailer, there was also an appearance in one of the scenes by the new Linian characters, the Boa Boa. These right. guys are throwing spears. The Boa Boa are native to the hinterlands. If you look closely, you can see the fur-like material covering their heads. That's actually Popo's fur. And just like Popo, the Boa Boa try to make themselves look bigger in order to display their strength. The Boa Boa have their own special culture, and those that are strong or adept at hunting are respected figures in their community. As a part of this highly critical culture of the Boa Boa, hunters can interact and deepen their relationship with them. It's an interesting That's little side story in which the relationship between Holy hunters shit. and lineans improves as you complete quests. That's right. Little Ewoks. Well, we have just introduced the Boa Boa, the new lineans that appear in Hoarfrost Reach of Iceborne. But there are other lineans as well. By the way, I heard that your relationship with the lineans has an impact on the Raider Ride feature, which we introduced before. Right. By forging a relationship with each lineian group, your palico will teach you how to ride certain monsters. So it's worthwhile to become friends with the lineans that you come across in each locale. That means you'll be able to use the whistle. That's right. You will be able to use the Raider Ride Call. Next, we'd like to talk about Velkana, the flagship monster of Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Until now, we haven't explained much about Velkana, but now we'd like There's to a lot in that trailer. to go in-depth about this monster and share some details. And this dev diary is nuts. You could say that it's a monster There's so much shit they're showing off. ...in a very unique way. It's a monster whose breath is a distinctive trait. Velkana actually exhales chilled air. When this frigid air comes into contact with various objects, it causes ice pillars to form suddenly. An important aspect of dealing with this monster is considering how to use these ice pillars to your advantage during combat. Wow, that's As you cool. you can see from the scenes in the trailer, Velkana shrouds itself in an armor of ice. When Velkana is covered in ice, it's in a state where it can exercise its power to the fullest extent. Trying to neutralize this power will factor into how the hunter has to maneuver when facing this monster. That's awesome that it creates like spires and pillars that you can jump off and away. use. And by doing so, you can mitigate Velkana's command over the ice. Keeping this Very in mind dynamic. when you are in this monster's vicinity should provide you with a clue for defeating it. So that's all the monster details we have for you this time. There are still more monsters that have yet to be announced, so be on the lookout for more information in the future. Jeez, man, this game's gonna get crazy. And imagine they probably even have more stuff to show.